Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Morning Musings. My name is Don K. Preston. I'm the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. And this is what I call my Morning Musings. I appreciate you being with me. Hey, I appreciate the good emails that I've been receiving as, as I'm sharing some thoughts with you about the resurrection. And what I think it's important that we understand so critically is that the resurrection, i.e. the eschatological resurrection, would be to overcome the death of Adam. That's just axiomatic. Everyone agrees with that. But of course, most people believe that the death introduced by Adam in the garden was in fact biological death. Therefore, they believe that the resurrection that was to occur at the coming of the Lord must be physical resurrection. Well, I've been sharing just a few thoughts with you about why the death of Adam could not have been biological death. Point of fact is, as we have seen repeatedly, God said to Adam and Eve, In the day that you eat of the forbidden fruit, you will surely die. As I've noted, it's interesting to me how desperate, and I use that word kindly, but how desperate some attempts are to negate that language. People want to run here and they want to want to run there. And as I pointed out in an earlier segment, they go, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but. Well, the yeah, but objections indicate that they recognize the force of the language. But they feel compelled to argue away, explain away, to mitigate the language as it stands. Now, I want, I want you to ask yourself the question. If physical death was the death that was the curse of Adam, then who was the first to experience physical death? Well, it should have been Adam, right? In the day you eat, you will surely die. But the point of fact is, the very first person to die physically, biologically, was Abel. Genesis chapter 4. Cain killed Abel. Now, ask yourself the question. Was Cain able to do what God wasn't able to do? God said, in the day you eat, you will surely die. Adam did not die biologically that day. But Adam and Eve have children. They grow up. Cain kills Abel. Biologically. So again, was Cain able to physically kill Abel? But God could not kill Adam and Eve on the very day that he said he would kill them? If physical death is the focus? Listen to me. Jesus did not come to redeem us from the death of Abel. He came to redeem us from the death of Adam. So here we are again, confronted with the absolute incontrovertible reality that Abel was the first person to die biologically, physically. And yet, God told Adam and Eve, in the day you eat, you, you, not Abel, you will surely die. Once again, Jesus did not come to redeem man from the death of Abel. He came to redeem man from the death of Adam. Now since we have two deaths here, since Adam and Eve very clearly had to die the day they ate the fruit, but they didn't die biologically. They did lose fellowship with God. They were cast out of covenant relationship with God, but they didn't die biologically. And then along comes Cain and Abel, and Abel is the first person to die physically. You see, 
we have to bring our understanding of death into conformity with how the Bible is using these terms. And one, one last time, Jesus did not come to deliver man from the death of Abel. He came to deliver man from the death of Adam. Adam did not die biologically like Abel died biologically and physically. Adam didn't experience that day, that death on the day he ate. The death of Adam was the loss of fellowship, spiritual life. Hey, thanks so much for joining me for this morning's morning musings. It's Friday. Have a great weekend. Hope to see you on Monday.